these are PlayStation Mobile titles. Now, PlayStation Mobile games were downloadable only contents that were made available for the PlayStation Vita. Also for certain Android devices that were on Android 2.0, versions they needed to qualify certain PlayStation certified requirements and that includes one of those phones the Sony Ericsson phones yeah this is the one this is the one I'm talking about the reason I'm talking about this is because these are the bunch of games the set of games that are it's I wouldn't say hard it's just that the prerequisites they're kind of complicated you install a set of runtime packages and then you run into another error I already have a plugin tutorials video the reason I'm making this so I ran into another kind of error specifically related to these PlayStation Mobile games. Downloading and installing the required or the usual prerequisites and the runtime packages, they didn't do the trick. I think it should be a 100% and foolproof method. Let's zoom right in the PlayStation Vita, talk about what to do. Let's talk about the most basic plugins and prerequisites that are required for running the PlayStation Mobile games. So the very first plugin that you're going to require is the No PSM DRM. So No PSM DRM is the very first plugin that you're going to install. Install this plugin by using Auto Plugins 2, head into Vita Plugins, install plugins, and you're going to scroll down all the way till you're on N and you're gonna look for no PSM DRM all right so you once you install this the next thing that you're gonna install is obviously you're gonna restart your PlayStation Vita so auto plugin 2 is going to prompt you to do that after that you're going to head over into PKGJ now there is a runtime package that you need you're gonna see PlayStation mobile runtime package once you install PlayStation mobile runtime package most case scenarios going to resolve it but if you're not logged into PSN then you're going to run into this issue now I'm not logged into PSN since the last jailbreak is just a hassle for me to link this device into my, my PlayStation account and I don't want to go through that whole process whole hassle so that's why and also this goes for people who wants to stay safe or play it safe who has the fear of getting their account back banned because nobody wants to get their PlayStation accounts banned specifically people like myself so only thing that you're gonna miss out on are the trophies and uh, unless you're a trophy ho there is no point in logging into your PlayStation account through your jailbroken PlayStation Vita even though it's safe but still okay next we need is this application PSM manager version 2.1 formerly known as no PSM DRM fixer speaks for itself so you need this PSM manager because for PlayStation for running the PlayStation mobile games it requires you to be logged into your PlayStation account in order to make this application work you need the PSM runtime package version 2.1 which I just told you that you can download through PKGJ app after that you just visit the link in the description and, and download the VPK file, put it into your PlayStation Vita's memory card, root, and install the VPK. Obviously, I don't need to show you guys how to install VPKs at this point. Now, after installation of the application, run the PSM manager. Okay, you'll be taken to the screen. On this screen, if you look at the very top left corner, it says your AID. For you guys, the values would be all zero. It means that you're not linked to any PlayStation accounts or your device is not linked to any PlayStation accounts. Now we are going to have to trick our PlayStation Vitas into thinking that we are connected or linked to any PlayStation accounts. That can be done by selecting fake AID and just hitting on X and it will say done. After that, head over into the app one more time. And then the last option, the very last option that says run the PSM runtime app. So now hit on X. All right, done. That's basically it. Now I want to explain to you guys about the PSM runtime version 2.1, which you can download like through the PKGJ app. Now, in order for this to install, you need to run any PlayStation mobile game for the very first time. However, you are not able to do it. Now this is the workaround. Once you run the PSM runtime app, it installs it in the background, which now fixes that issue of you not being able to run PlayStation mobile game so that's it that's basically the fix after performing these steps you will not have any kind of issues running PlayStation any PlayStation mobile games and yeah that's basically it that's it for this one this was a very short fix tutorial video and yeah if you like this video found it informative helpful useful please make sure to drop in a like and subscribe i'm gonna see you guys on the next one. Oh yeah check out my live streams if you want to join and hang out you can do that if not it's okay 
I need to play my game so I'll, I do that by going live on my channel so I'm gonna keep on doing that I'll catch you on the next one Dr. Brute 7 signing off peace